Do lawn aeration shoes work? Well, that depends on how you define works. Uh, they do poke holes in the lawn, but do they aerate your soil? The short answer is no. When I first started gardening, I heard about these shoes and I thought, this is a great idea, and I even made myself a pair. But then I learned a little bit about lawns and how they grow and aeration and why we do it. And once I understood that, I knew that these shoes couldn't possibly work. I hope you stay with me because I'm going to explain why they don't work and I think that's really important so you understand the why and how you do aeration. So why do we do aeration? Well our soil gets compacted. Like when you're walking on the lawn you squeeze that soil down and that makes it hard for roots to grow. We do aeration to add air to the soil to bring it back up to a higher level so it's not so compacted. That makes roots grow better and you get a better lawn. It's as simple as that. There are two types of aeration. There's something called core aeration and spike aeration. It's important to know the difference or you're going to waste a lot of time and money. So what is core aeration? Well, that's where you take a device and you actually pull a plug of soil out of the ground. Here's a picture of the soil before we aerate it. The grass is growing and the soil is slightly compacted. I've illustrated that with the brown color. When we go through and core aerate, we pull these plugs out. We basically make larger holes in the soil by pulling the soil right out. Over time, the soil around that hole can move into the hole, basically get more air into the soil, and the soil becomes looser. It becomes less compacted because the soil can move into that hole we left. Now let's have a look at spike aeration. It's done with similar devices, except that we don't take the core out. We just push something into the soil. So before we do the aeration, we have the same soil that we had before. After aeration, we've pushed this spike into the soil, which means we've actually compacted the soil. The soil around the hole is now more compacted than when you started. And I've shown that with the darker brown color. It has less air, it's more compacted, and roots don't grow as well in it. Now, sure, over time that hole fills in again, but then you're back to the starting position. You haven't accomplished anything in that process. Spike aeration is fairly common. There are machines to do it, and people like that because they don't like these plugs sitting on their lawn, which look kind of messy. It kind of looks like goose poop all over your lawn. So some people prefer the spike aeration because it looks neater. There are also hand tools for doing spike aeration. Even a pitchfork could be used. And then, of course, we have our shoes. These are basically shoes that have nails sticking out the bottom. They do make holes in the lawn, but they actually compact the soil. They don't work. Does core aeration work? Yeah, it certainly does work, but a lot of lawns don't need it. So there is a right time to use it. I've put together another video, 10 Lawn Care Myths. I can get to it right here. This thing's going to save you time and money. Happy gardening.